Hi there, welcome to another video exploring the volumetric clouds in Unreal Engine 4.26. In this video, I'll be looking at how to paint clouds, and in particular the issue that I encountered and stopped me from being able to use this feature. But I'll also be showing you the small fix that will allow you to make this work. In the preview videos to 4.26, they show this really cool feature to literally just paint clouds into your sky giving you the ability to place clouds, you know, exactly where you want them to be. And uh, I couldn't find a tutorial about how to set this up, um, but there was a, a brief section in the documentation about painted clouds with a short explanation about how they work using the plain game editor. And also that there's a sample level that you can look at in order to work out how, how, how it all works and what's going on. And to get to that sample level, you've got to do a couple of things. First off, you need to make sure that in your plugins, you have the volumetrics plugin uh, enabled. Mine was actually turned off by default. Uh, and of course, upon enabling it, you might have to restart your uh, editor. Once you've done that, go to your content browser, show engine content, and also show plugin content. And once you've done that, it activates all these things here in the content browser. Scroll to the very, very bottom and you'll find the folder called Volumetrics Content. And all the demo and sample content is located here. We need the Paint Cloud level, which is located under Tools, um, uh, Tools, Cloud Compositing, and then there's Maps. And there's the Paint Clouds level. Now we've got it, we just need to load it up. Now, with the level loaded, we should be able to start painting our clouds. We just press play up here to activate the level editor. Uh, it starts off pretty low. I'm just going to go a bit higher and start painting. And nothing is actually happening. Um, the, the brush size is a bit small here with these numbers, so mouse wheel will increase it. Shift mouse wheel will increase the strength, so we can. you should be able to now see my brush in the sky, but nothing is happening. Um, there's another parameter here of paint set. Um, click that, goes to paint add. Again, no matter what I do and where I go, nothing is actually happening. And this is the same point that most people have reached from what I can read online. Um, and that's it, people have just stopped. They go, I don't know what to do now. I don't know how to fix this. And it's probably a bug. I've read about some bugs with the cloud system. So this is another one. Well, actually, um, it's not a bug, it does work, and there's a really, really simple fix in order to make this work. What I did is, um, the two areas I started looking at were the blueprint paint clouds and the volumetric cloud. I didn't look at anything else. There's an area here that says about lighting needs to be rebuilt. That's That doesn't matter at all. Everything else in the scene is really very straightforward. The blueprint here doing the, the, the landscape is fine. Everything else is just standard uh, elements that we have to make up the level. If we look at the blueprint paint clouds, there is um, some controls here. Um, they all look fairly um, okay to me. But what was key was this section here of render targets. And if you don't know what render targets here, it's worth looking them up because they're really useful and also really, really powerful. Without going into them right now, uh, render targets are basically textures that you can draw and write to at runtime in order to store other information like color information. And then you can reuse that information elsewhere in, in your material or in another material. And I was able to deduce from this, that's what was actually going on here, that essentially this cloud mask render target is being used to mask out the sky. So when someone is painting, they're painting a mask of where they want their clouds to go. If you look in the blueprint as well, the way it's built, it, it backs that up as well. We can see here that there's a, there's a set of texture parameter value. We can see there's a render target being used there. Uh, and again, if you go into any tutorials, it, it follows the general flow of how render targets are set up. I'm not gonna go into that right now. Um, now, armed with this information, we should be able to now try and hunt down where the where the where the problem is. We can actually find this render target in in amongst our samples. Um, we can even open this up and take a look at it. And um, we get this weird shape here. 
And at first I didn't quite realize, and then it was obvious, this is what I was painting uh, just a moment ago. It did actually work. It was recording my paint strokes uh, and the values, and it was creating the render target. But for some reason, that render target is not being used to display our clouds. But something else is, because we can see here that there are clouds in our scene. And we know that in um, if you look at my other video where I talk about how the cloud system works, we know that texture maps are used to define shapes of the clouds and also where clouds can actually go in the sky. Therefore, we can deduce that that's the problem. There's probably another texture map being used to decide where the clouds go uh, instead of our render target. What we need to do now is go into our volumetric cloud and start looking at our material. And we can see it's got a material already assigned. We can highlight that in our content browser and quickly discover that it's one of the samples that Epic have provided. Um, I noticed that this isn't using the instance, so it's using the master parent material. Um, Therefore, I would be a bit careful when going into this. You may want to duplicate it or rename it. Uh, but if you do make changes to it, try not to save it uh, because obviously you'll overwrite the default. If we double click this now, we can go into the material graph, which is vast. And what we need to do now is find where that cloud mask is being used, if at all. Uh, and we can just quickly do that in the search cloud mask. And straight away, we've got a texture sample at the top here. Um, and we can see that it's actually pointing to or uh, reading this um, this mask. Um, but there's no output. Um, this isn't actually going anywhere. Um, and maybe that's the problem. Maybe that's um, it's just not been connected up. Um, I looked around here and I could see that there's another uh, render target being used, a flow map, which I think is being used for the speed of velocity of the clouds. That looks to be fine. There's an output being used, and it's going into this mask node. Uh, and also, you can see it's using different channels as well. And I thought, okay, maybe that was a problem. Maybe there needs to be a mask node here for this output. But then, when I moved over here, I noticed this. And I noticed this texture object. And I thought, ah, this could be the problem because, again, we know the way um, the, the system works. They use different channels to display the clouds. And again, if we look at this, um, we can see, turn off the alpha, we can see we get some odd shapes here. But if you turn off different channels, you can see the general shape of the clouds. And actually, I flew above the clouds and looked down on the world, and it kind of started to resemble this shape. And I thought, okay, this is the problem now. This is the texture map which is being used to display the clouds in my sky. Therefore, if I replace this with the render target, then that will probably fix it. And that's what we're going to do now because that's exactly um, what happens. I'm just going to take this, uh, select my render target, swap it out, click apply. That will now compile the shader. And then once that's complete, we should be good to go. The compiling is complete. Let's minimize this window. And we can see that's had an impact straight away. We've now got fewer clouds in our scene and this weird blob like shape in in our sky which actually is couldn't come shouldn't be any surprise this is what we had this is our masking now so it has actually worked and now what i should be able to do if i press play um there in the sky let's get above the sky a little bit now um i should be able to start painting my clouds there we go so i'm removing clouds at the moment if i increase the strength should be able to stop painting them in the size. And there we go. And it works. And what we can do, we can just see this live as well, the way the render targets work. Let's just minimize that. Um, if I move to part of the sky, which you can't see, the distance, there we go. And that's how the system works. The painting is really recording my paint strokes into a texture map. Um, looks like you're using maybe all the channels here, um, but there's only red being displayed. Actually, no, all the channels are being used. Um, but again, we could change that if you wanted to. Um, again, it's worth looking at some of the tutorials for render targets. Um, but yeah, there we go. And now I'm just able to paint my clouds. If I hold down the shift key, I can start removing some. 
and uh, yeah so that's working and that's all there was to it it was a really simple fix in the end um, it was just that the render target just hadn't been connected up to uh, to the graph and there's probably any number of reasons for that maybe uh, this material it's one of the samples being used so it might have been used in another epic demo scene which it probably works in that scene but if we changed it it would break it um, so again just be careful with these default materials I would duplicate them rename them and then you can apply the fix and then use it to your heart's content anyway that's all for this video I really hope that was useful to anybody who wasn't able to get this scene and feature working and I hope now that you can really begin to explore the paint clouds feature in 4.26 feel free to like this video and comment below and we'll see you next time